Hello, friends. I am headed to Costco. But Everett. Hi. I'm not going. You're not going today. You want to stay with Grandma and Chase? Okay, I love you. Mwah. Uh. Oh, thanks. Mwah. Okay, be good. I just got my dog. Oh gosh, no, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Bye. So it is the first official day of summer. Grandma and Grandpa are here. The cousins are over to play. I could not pull Everett away to come with me, but that's okay. We'll still see him at the end when we do our haul. And that means I can get done the big shopping trip that I have planned. I just wiped off my kids. Oh no, okay, love ya. Oh, one more kiss. You should just come with me. <laughs> All right, so they have some hanging baskets today. Ooh, some cute ones, different ones. But, ooh, I love that color. Ooh, they smell really good too. My mom surprised me and came home with two matching hanging baskets the other day when she came, so I don't need them, but now they finally have them. $28.99 and they have a huge selection. Hmm, I'm wondering if I want to grow some tomatoes on the deck where it gets really hot by the house. I got a lot I need to buy today, so I think I'm just gonna pass up the plants and get shopping. I do have a list from my dad of things he needs, um, but I forgot it in the car. Hopefully I can remember everything. Okay, so they've got this paddle board still on sale for $3.19. But they also have this bigger one on sale for $4.79. Hmm, tempting. This is the raft we have at our cabin. It has gone up by $100 since we bought it last year. They've got a backyard cornhole. I've always kind of wanted one of those. Ooh, and this is new too. A faux concrete fireplace. $3.49. It's pretty. I need a new summer chair. These are on sale for $39.99. Mine broke last week. I'm going to grab one. I'm actually going to grab two because both of them have broken and it's nice to have two to take to the lake. Alright, they've got fishing waders. That's very Alaskan. $99.99. Fishing boots. And then these are... These are dip nets. You can only use these for a couple weeks of the summer to catch salmon. You have to be an Alaska resident, but they go fast once the fish are in. All right, a grill basket. That's a good idea. A two pack for $16.99. So your stuff doesn't fall down in the grill. Then they still have this two pack of cast iron for $29.99. I think I'm gonna get these. The way I'm going, it may be a two cart day today. This one, griddle, grill. Oven, cooktop, or barbecue. I've never seen these here. These are like what I've been buying for years at Target. Four pack of basket weave baskets. They're for $21.49. Cute laundry basket. I'm gonna buy Hunter 11 then for summer. This is new. It's a little garden planter. Plant things around the sides. $69.99. Alright, so it is camping season. It is summer. So I'm going to be getting some things that I don't usually buy. More snacky things because we often just like to pack a bunch of lunches, take them with us, go hiking, go to the lake, and things like that. 
My dad is also planning a little camping trip tonight, so he asked me to get a couple of things. He took the boys to the bike park while I came shopping. So I'm getting some stuff for breakfast burritos, some things for s'mores, and hobo dinners. <laughs> okay, Grandpa asked me to get some tortillas for breakfast burritos in the morning. These ones are $9.99. Or $9 Something smells amazing here, like cinnamon rolls. Mm. Ooh, that went up in price. Never seen it above seven dollars. Okay, my weekly pack of peppers, seven ninety nine still. Still have a bunch of fruit from last week, but I did run out of veggies, like all the veggies. Changed their packaging this week. Spinach. does not look good today. No broccoli for us. Let's try the cauliflower. Doesn't look very good either. Let me get some corn for Mark's little camping trip tonight. Some little potatoes for $9.99. Lots of very green bananas, but that's okay. That way they last a while. All right, I'm gonna grab some of these for Mark and the boys because they're going camping. $8.99 for two. You gotta pick two flavors. We have vanilla chocolate chunk, poppy seed. There's chocolate over there. I don't know, poppy seed or vanilla chocolate chunk. Boys like chocolate. I would prefer poppy seed, but I don't really love muffins. Maybe as like a dessert, but I don't like them as a breakfast. Grab some grapefruit. The boys love grapefruit. $6.99 for a five pound bag. Okay, three pack of cucumbers, $6.99. I think I might want these for the cabin. Chicken and apple sausages. I'll just throw them in the freezer until next week. Might try, oh, they also have pineapple and bacon or roasted garlic and gruyere. All of them sound much better than just a regular hot dog. Gonna have to go grab some buns though. Fried pickle and ranch dip. Never seen that. Mmm. I love pickles, but that just seems a little weird. I like to get these ones because then I can use them to make sandwiches or for hot dogs. So this is the camp chef that my dad takes camping with us when we camp with the motorhome. And it's awesome. You can cook so much stuff on it. We love it. First sample I've seen. Go ahead and help you. Thank you. chicken kit. Yes. Right. Yum. It's fully cooked, so all you do is combine it with the ingredients. And warming it back up. Perfect. Thank you. It does have really good flavor for just something that you just reheat. Mm, that was really good. I loved all the peppers and onions. Yum, yum. Much better than I expected. Grab one of these too. Eight sixty nine. Okay, this one looks good. Caramelized onion and gruyere. However you say that, cheese. Apple pie rolls with caramel sauce. That sounds indulgent and yummy. A four pack of fresh salads. It would be good if you needed one in a hurry. I prefer just to make my own, but. You know, if you don't have time to prep it, that's a good choice. Pot de creme. Chocolate dessert, heavy cream, Colombian dark chocolate. And so 
this one is $7.72. That seems like a small package. It's usually around $9. Let's see, here's a bigger package. These are on sale. My dad likes to come up and have cereal every once in a while. And this is one of his favorites. It's on sale for $6.99. And this is Mark's favorite. He loves it with raisins. And they're on sale for $3.69. All right, and since this is on sale, I'm gonna buy just one of it for camping. Sometimes it's fun to have a cereal that the kids aren't used to for when we're camping, so $4.59 for that. Okay, I don't need anything in here, but let's just look at the price of milk. $9.69, $10.39. So almond milk is also $9.99 or $6.60 a gallon. This A2 protein milk is $8.66 a gallon. Some old fashioned chocolate milk, it says $8.45 a gallon. Oh my gosh, they kind of trick you by getting in this little thing, but a gallon would be $8.45. Lactose free milk, $11.99. Organic Kirkland milk, $7.99 a gallon. $8.45 a gallon for the 2%. Woo! So these are just carton milk. These are not organic. $7.24 a gallon. I'm gonna grab some of these for when we go to the cabin and stuff. I don't wanna take the big sour cream. $4.99. This is much easier to throw in the cooler. Woo. It's cold in there. Okay, I like to have things like this for the boys just to be able to cook for themselves at lunchtime. I'll make a big salad that we can all share, but then they can have had a corn dog or a pretzel. Whoop. These pizzas are also good just to throw into the air fryer really quick. 1069. Oh, ketchup's on sale. Good time to stock up. Okay, Grandpa wants some of these hamburger patties. Brown sirloin. He's making hobo dinners where you just take tin foil, you put meat, potatoes, carrots, onions, mushroom soup, and then you cook it over the campfire. So that's what he's just gonna throw a meat patty. Okay, these are on sale, and we usually buy them when they're in Hawaii, but they just like scream summer to me. That is a lot of watermelons. $11.99. Guess you wanna look for a yellow spot, not a white spot, a yellow spot. I don't feel like I have room for a watermelon. Okay, five dozen eggs, twelve forty-nine. We're getting really full. I plan to buy like a bunch of snacky stuff, but we'll see if I have room. I have to go get a second cart. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of cold stuff today, so I'm not gonna stop and look at books and <laughs> clothing and all that fun stuff. Oh, this cute hat though did go on sale for $11.99. Okay, Mark bought some chips here the other day, so I don't need chips, but I am looking for some other snacks. These are really good. I tried these yesterday at the kids field day and they were yummy. They're very spicy. There's only four in there. These are a favorite. I usually try and wait till they're on sale, but that's all right. So these snacks that I'm grabbing right now, we put in a big bin all together. And then when we're going on a road trip or going to the park, the kids each will grab a couple out and then they have their snack. 9.59 for some Hello Pandas. I need to keep my eye out for graham crackers for grandpa for s'mores, but I don't see them yet. Ooh, these are on sale, they're so good. The flavors, the like raspberry lemonade and pineapple passion fruit, oh my gosh. So good. I'm just gonna get them. Oh, 
Yum. Thank you. Oh. Bark thin dark chocolate with almonds. Yum. We are going to have a garage sale tomorrow. Bennett asked me to get some candy for him to sell. I was hoping to get like Skittles and stuff so it wouldn't melt. But all they have are this variety pack and this one. And they're $1.43 a piece. Milk chocolate with almonds. It's kind of fun to make s'mores with different chocolates. He'd only make $7.50 from selling the entire box. Then he and his cousins would probably eat a few of them. So really, he would just wouldn't even make seven bucks. So I tell him it's not worth his business time. All right, I am gonna grab these to add to the treat box because I absolutely love Rice Krispie treats, but I hate these prepackaged ones. If I make them, I will eat like half the sheet. If I buy these, I won't touch them. $12.89. The kids don't seem to care. They love them when they've had them in the past, so. Okay, these are really good for taking on hikes when we need some good bars. Chocolate chip, oatmeal, chocolate brownie, $19.39. Okay, this is something I have never seen. Crispy Dillies, pickle flavored fried cucumbers. Great on burgers, mac and cheese, and potato salad. $8.39. Sound very interesting. Not sure that I would want a Costco size bag of them. Not being sure what they would taste like. But these look good too. Bread and butter chips. Snacking pickles. Are these good? This brand, Bubbies. $8.39. I honestly don't know if I've ever tried a bread and butter pickle. Greek pepperoni stuffed with Greek feta and cream cheese. Those could look kind of tasty. Pepper crunch and creamy feta and $8.69. I'm gonna try them. Need some pepperonis. Okay, Grandpa asked me to grab some more of these for his breakfast burritos. Kind of sounds good, and I heard a health expert say that it was a good thing. I'm gonna try it. Okay, the sample up here is chicken broth. Tell me, is that something that you would sample at the store? Chicken broth? Just a cup of chicken broth. I was doing one more round to look for the graham crackers, but I'm not seeing them. Some mangoes. $18.99. Cinnamon apples. Those look good. Well, I think we've come to the end. I did not see any graham crackers, so I'll have to get those from the grocery store. Ooh, right out here. All right, you guys, that felt fast and furious. I am still on one GoPro battery, which usually I go through at least one and a half, have to stop halfway through and fill up, but that's because, you know, we're stopping for all the things. So let's get home and we'll check out the haul and I'll tell you the total. My car says 75 degrees. Does this mean we're gonna have a hot, warm summer? I don't know. I'd be okay with that. I know some of you are rolling your eyes who like are already over 100 degrees. Sorry. So I am currently having one of those weeks where I'm having a really hard time keeping track of what day of the week it is. Um, Mark took Tuesday off and we went on a date. We went flying. It was one of the lowest tides of the year, so we were able to go clam digging. Um, you just have to go when the tides are right. And then the kids, last day of school was on a Thursday, so it is now currently Friday. But man, my brain is like, ooh, what day is it? Because it feels like I can't keep track. Every day has felt like a Friday or a Saturday for the last three days. So, anyways, I'm going to quickly stop in at Fred Meyer. I need to grab graham crackers and just check the price of milk there to see if it's any cheaper, if they're having any sales. Um, we have some milk still at home, but it's always good to check the milk prices when I go in there, I feel like, because I don't shop at Fred Meyer all that often. So, 
The other thing this beautiful weather has me excited to do is get the garden done, but I am waiting until we get back from the cabin next week. June 1st is usually when people start planting in Alaska. Before that, you run the risk of things um, freezing at night. So right now I'm trying to focus on starting summer, going to the cabin, and then we'll focus on getting the garden put together next week. $8. Okay, so they have this bundle if you buy all the things that you could buy to make s'mores, then you get it for $8. So I had no idea that graham crackers are not something that everybody has had. Uh, one of my followers here sent me a message that she ordered some and how fun it was to try them, but this is just something that I never even thought that everybody couldn't find. So they also have this off-brand for $2.69, which are probably would be just fine especially for s'mores. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna get the bundle though. So they're originally $5.79, but if you buy them with that, then they each are only $2. Two or, oh no, wait, like two fifty. dollars So. And then I think it was these. Kind of a fun little bundle. Oh. Okay, so these are the biscuits that I like. Oh, they've never come in a four pack like this, $3.99. I like to make donuts with these at the cabin. Much cheaper. And I like the sight, the shape of these cartons better. Oh, they're on sale. These Grillo's hot pickle chips are to die for. Even though they're only a dollar off. Sour chocolate dinos. Ever would love those. Oh, and they have this. Oh, it's because it's for Jurassic Park. New sour bursting crawlers. Candies for the kids. Okay, we're gonna go do the hall, but I'm not taking these upstairs. I did buy these two chairs. Excited about them. And I've got my army of helpers here taking stuff up. Cousins. Okay, Everett's doing the gallon of milk. Keep working on it, guys. Thanks for your help, guys. All right, Miss Luna has come to inspect the groceries. You see anything you want, huh? Nothing for you today, sweet girl. But that's okay. You can still come and see it all, huh? Wouldn't be a good Costco video without ya. I got home and Everett came running. Mom, I missed you. <laughs> That always makes your heart happy. I am very grateful I had help today because this is a big haul. Okay, we had run out of cheese, so I restocked on cheese, got some Havarti and some Tillamook, grabbed some ham, some corn, and some sour cream for going back and forth to the cabin. I thought this would be a lot easier to put in the cooler than bringing a big tub of sour cream, like for tacos and stuff. Uh, spring lettuce and baby spinach. I've never seen spinach come in this container, so that's different this week. Grab some cabbage. Cabbage is so good to have around because it doesn't get soggy like lettuce does, and it also lasts a really long time in the refrigerator, so I like having that as a backup to lettuce. Uh, cucumbers, peppers, carrots, celery. I grab those for the boys that are going camping with dad tonight and then I'll freeze the rest and we'll take them to the cabin. These are grapefruits. Right, my boys love grapefruit. Sandwich rolls that are also great for hot dogs. Cinnamon raisin bagels for another breakfast at the cabin. Um, I'm excited to try these in like a salad with a bunch of olives and I think it'll be really good. And then use like the oil that they're in as kind of the salad dressing. Stocked up on ketchup because it's summertime. Eggs bread we use these for breakfast burritos i'm gonna try this chickpea pasta because i've heard it's better for you and i don't eat a ton of pasta but i like to see good alternatives that are higher in protein that i might like corn dogs now if you're new here i usually don't buy a lot of pre-made stuff but it's summer i like the boys to be self-sufficient a lot of the time to just grab something heat it up for lunch and then I make like a big salad or a fruit platter or a veggie platter to go along with it. So things like corn dogs and little mini pizzas tend to fit that bill because I feel like they're always hungry. Even if I'm making meals, they're always hungry. So these things are helpful. So we got corn dogs, 
the Malona bars, which I need to get into the freezer right away. So yummy. Dino Buddies pizzas. These are so yummy. We're gonna take these to the cabin as, as a lunch or dinner. Chicken and apple organic and pineapple bacon smoked chicken sausage. Yum. Mushrooms, I've been loving mushrooms sauteed with onions in just about everything. Some pepperoni, some flour tortillas for breakfast burritos, pretzels, Z bars for going on hikes, Rice Krispie treats for the treat box, sirloin for my dad's camping trip, mangoes as a snack. Oh, Luna's back here inspecting the bags. Is there something in that bag? This is for camping trips, tricks, and cocoa puffs, Cheerios, Hello Pandas, and Frosted Mini Wheats. We love popcorners. I like those for summer lunches or times like when we go to the lake and stuff. And then these are the best. So I try and stock up when they're on sale because they're just so good. All right, on to table two. Two things of very green bananas. We still have quite a bit of fruit. That's why you didn't see me buy fruit. We still have some oranges, lemons, pears, apples, and a few bananas from last week, as well as some tomatoes. So that's why I didn't buy those things. I've got this Leatherman. I might keep it because I feel like I always need something like this when we're out fishing and stuff, and I always have to ask Mark for his, or I'll give it to one of the boys, but. <gasps> Everett, the pirate's coming. Hide! <laughs> ah! Oh, you really are a pirate. Put on your pirate patch. Shiver me timber. Everett, let me just finish really quick and then you tell me what snack you're just dying to have as your sample, okay? All right, I grabbed these because I've been wanting to change out my pans to more cast iron and I think this is a really good deal. We just opened a new one of these so this will go in storage because I hate running out and not having one in the garage. Same with these, I just finished a bin of them. And these are either for s'mores or for Bennett to sell at the garage sale. I'm not sure, I think I might just keep them for s'mores because we just discussed, he's not gonna make much money, $7.50 if he sold the whole box. It's just not worth it. What are these? Those are sour tropical dinos from Jurassic Park. <laughs> <gasps> okay, let's just show this really quick. If you got a marshmallow, a six pack of Hershey bars, and this, it was eight bucks, which was a really good deal. It was way cheaper than it should have been, like Mom, half the price. This? Oh, those are sour bursting crawlers. What are they? Like gummy worms with something in the middle of them. Juicy stuff in the middle of them. Grab milk for $3.99. All right, really quick question. Does your Costco carry their milk in this type of container or this one? This one is quite hard to pour, especially for kids, but I think it's easier for shipping. I'd love to know which style milk carton you have. <laughs> Weird question, but kind of a fun discussion. I use these at the cabin to make donuts. They used to sell them in individual, now they come in like a four pack, but last summer they stopped carrying them and I was really sad. Cause you need like the most basic little biscuits that you can get. You don't want all those flakes and things. These make really good. Donuts. Or maybe they just taste really good because they're hot and fresh and you're at the cabin and it's just kind of magical. I'm not so sure, but they are really good. And next I grab two of these pickles because they are amazing and addictive and sour bursting crawlers and tropical dinos for the kids. So my Fred Meyer total was $54.15 for just this little pile of stuff. But it does say that I saved $27.57. So it could have been like, what? $80, so I'll take 50 over 80. And now let me find my receipt for the Costco haul. How much do you think I spent? 5,000. 5,000, oh. 6,000. 6, How I much? 1,000. Okay. I need 1,000. You mean 1,000? Okay, can you tell us what item you're just dying to try as your sample? Oh, he chose a Hello Panda. Okay, you gotta go eat it outside. All the boys can, uh, Downstairs can have one, but then we'll have to go outside. All right, it was a big receipt day. Our total for Costco was $646.54. We are so grateful that you're here with us. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Bye, guys. Bye. Shiver my timbers. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm opening up a concession stand with all of this prepackaged.
microwavable stuff. <laughs> Sometimes that's what it feels like in the summer, like I'm just running a concession stand. Now says trolley sour bursting curl colors. Crawlers, I mean. And flavor explosion. Oh, they have a jelly inside. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, shit.